You're very, very welcome to another live. As you can see, the topic, it's one that concerns everyone and it's of ultimate importance to every individual, both male or female. Whoever you are, wherever you are from, whatever your profession, a Christian, young man, young woman, you want to smell good. You want to look good. You want to be well presented and you want to pass someone and it's not people touching their nose, but you want people to want to stay around you without feeling uncomfortable. Hey, everyone. You're welcome to the DLBC Singles Platform. This is where we talk to Christian singles. We talk with Christian singles. We talk about Christian singles and how Christians find the right partner, how to find love, someone that you spend the rest of your life with, how to know how God is leading you to the right person for you and how to make that marriage a beautiful one one that you'll enjoy every day and you'll say, yes, I got it right. So if you do not know us, that's what we do here. We're talking about relationship from the Christian perspective. And today again, we have another topic that somehow relates and goes around to impact your relationship as singles. And as you can, as you can see the topic, it is smelling nice, smelling good, presenting yourself appropriately, the right way. That's what we're talking about today. Are you uh, concerned about looking good, smelling good? Do you believe in using body uh, scents, perfumes, deodorant? What are your thoughts on that? Um, so we're going to go right into it. So what are your thoughts about this topic, Mr. David, how to take care of your body and smell good? All right. All right. Uh, good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning, depending on where you're coming from. Um, it's another Saturday where we, we share the little that we know uh, with everyone just to help the community, right? The LBC con community. So if you are one of those people that are regular on our Saturday life, you're very much welcome. And if you are not a regular person, you should consider because we normally drop some um, useful information that help you as a single person and even sometimes even as a married person. So, and that's why today we, we are going to be talking about um, something that can really affect you in so many ways right um it can cost you a job it can cost you a life partner it can prevent you from having access to um, certain things that you deserve yeah and in some cases some people will lose their job because of this uh, while some other people they get really discriminated against mm -hmm. some if you are if you are still in university or something like that you might uh, get bullied by people whether whether ver uh, verbally or uh, not even verbal like just people's behavior towards you might be a bit hostile yeah and in some cases it could be as bad as friends avoiding you right <laughs> yeah like i'm sure you know that one person in your acquaintances that you just like anytime you're around that person you're like you just take style and be doing this like you know <laughs> so you don't want to be that person right where people around you are are feeling irritated by your presence because you smell or you have bad mouth odor or something like that so but today we want to focus a bit more on 
your body odor right and um yeah i hope that somebody can take something out of this and really uh apply it i, I just want to give a quick story right um there was a time uh I was working with a corporate company, right? And um, I happened to work with different nationality, but predominantly is um, more of Indians, Asians, basically. A mm few -hmm. Caucasians, a few uh, Middle Eastern people, and if you Africans, right? So, uh, in one of our departments, right, um, it happens that there was this girl that she she used to, she used to, um, she used to eat a lot of garlic. <laughs> uh, in their culture, is it, well, in any culture, basically, it's, it's healthy to eat garlic, right? But uh, she didn't know how to like tame that smell. So every time she sweats in the office, like everybody's like feeling uneasy, like people start spraying the room and all that. Wow. Um, she eats a lot of curry. She eats a lot of, uh, you know, spicy food. Mm. Right. And she didn't know how bad it was. Right. <laughs> and well, a lot of people start gossiping about it. Like, oh, my God, this girl smells. <laughs> Mm. you know she was indian um so um well we, we were like contemplating who is going to tell her that this guy she's taking this is a bit too much she should slow down on it mm. and then uh one of somebody suggested that maybe hr hr has to do this <laughs> wow. so <laughs> it was that bad so we had we had to tell HR, HR, you need to call this girl, man. <laughs> so they call the girl asylum. They're like, oh, you know, you're you're a great worker. You are very useful to the company and all that, but you're making everybody uncomfortable. So hmm. you need to slow down on your garlic, <laughs> yeah. right? And probably you need to even like start using some type of products to dampen the the effect of it so uh well she was lucky because she she was quite useful to the department if not yeah. the boss was even saying man it looks like we're going to change this person <laughs> because it's too much right so reason why i'm telling you this is because you could be that person and you don't know because she didn't know that she was smelling that bad because yeah. she's so used to her smell right mm -hmm. and um even among the, the indians they didn't really say to her because like they didn't want her to feel bad right mm -hmm. <laughs> so nobody the thing is nobody wanted to hurt her feelings but she realized that every time she sits down in the uh, lunch time like people just eat fast and go <laughs> people eat fast and go Hmm. So it's, it's, it's that bad. So she she, she starts feeling it a bit. Yeah. So this is how serious this is. And if you don't know that you smell, you can just study what happens when people are around you. Like uh, if people just keep moving away a little bit from you then is a sign <laughs> right or if you try to hug somebody and somebody just wants to quickly <laughs> move away from you then yeah <laughs> it just means that you're smelling right yeah. so uh, we will talk more about it um i just wanted to open with that yeah well, I also think that you could also ask very close friends of yours, like, okay, do, do I smell anyhow? Like, do I smell good? Is there any 
Um, do you think I should use more perfume or, you know, that kind of thing? So there are there are some people that because they're your friends and they don't want to hurt your feelings, they don't really want to tell you uh, that there is this odor. Um, but I believe that very close family friends and sometimes children, if you have a niece and nephew, they can be very upfront, like they can tell you the truth. They can be very direct and not feel, not find it difficult to tell you that there is some um, smell. So, um, well, smelling good, like it even involves um, good personal hygiene. First of all, some people will say it's because you don't bath well, right? Um, but I believe some people bath well, for real, they bath very well. They could even have their bath two times in a day. But because of bacteria, just bacteria and odor that you find like under the armpits, of course, that place is always closed. And if you're not careful, apart from what you eat, just the fact that it's all closed down like that, it could start to breed some things. And also if you don't, if you're not someone that shaves your, the hair under your armpit, it could be a problem because the hair there can, you know, um, accumulate with, with, with the sweat and the heat and all of it together, it, it now begins to emanate a, a, an uncomfortable odor. Uh, so normally take good, have good showers every day, you know, have a good bath. And if you can use a nice um, shower gel or soap or whatever it is that you use body wash to cleanse your body, it's very important that you use it well and make sure that when you are bathing, you are doing the right way. You're washing yourself the right way. You're making, you're taking, putting emphasis on the arm, on the arms and wash it really nice and use, you know, like a, you know, a hand body wash, you know, scrub it really nice and, and all that. Those are some of the simple, simple things that you, that you can do. Um, I don't know. Do you want to jump in or should I continue? I know I can use yes. I always also advise anti anti perspirant or deodorant. Some people, you know, that was this thing one time, sometimes around 2022. No, not 2022, 2002. That was this mentality going around that anti perspirant could um, you know, cause some other health challenges because normally the body has to sweat and that if the body does not sweat then you could have some some tumor some sickness some cancer some you know lots of things going on and some people kind of stopped using deodorant they felt that there was no use for them to use deodorant they should just you know have their bath and and that that is fine you just need to have your bath if you had if you think that you're smelling then have more bath <laughs> but that doesn't always resolve it because we're busy right you don't have time you cannot have your bath three times in a day uh, so, but you can also look for some healthy, there are some health, healthy alternatives. So when you're getting your, your deodorant, you can read whatever is on it. There are very healthy ones that use, um, um, essential oils to make them. So there are some very healthy ones. You can go with essential oils, look at what is at the back of it, and then get the ones that you think you're comfortable with. So please, 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 I beg people always, always, ladies, especially some of us who think, who, who are Christians and, you know, we think that it doesn't matter. And some people associate perfumes to, to you know, preparing the dead, the, the, the bodies for burial and all, all of that. Uh, let's take out that mentality. I know in our, in in some churches they believe that you cannot use perfume or deodorant because you know that means that you are it's you're not supposed to do it. They compare to the Bible where Mary Magdalene came to anoint the feet of Jesus with a very nice um, perfume and and you know she was preparing him for his burial from for his going away like for his passing away and all that and so they kind of you know appropriate it to now and say no you don't have to because you know but please let's take out that this is we're talking about deodorant we're not talking about that in the context even though they use it in the eastern um culture to prepare their the, the, the their bodies you know for burial this is not what it is and let's take off that that mentality that might be i it, i don't think is a very right interpretation of that passage but i will leave everybody to their own interpretation of the bible i would say to you emphatically if you are a lady and even men if you are a lady or a man please 
you need to use deodorant to control the, the odor, to neutralize the odor that comes out of your armpit is very important. I have emphasized this. I've said it to so many ladies. I've bought deodorant for people, you know, and told them not to feel bad. Like, I don't mean to insult you I or think, anything, but I think that this is very good for you. Go ahead. So uh, I think, first of all, let's just cover some of the reasons why people smell bad, right? Before we... Okay. Yeah. get into the solutions of it okay so so go ahead you take the reasons what are the okay, reasons? So, why do people smell so, bad so a lot of people they smell bad because they sweat a lot right okay so if you sweat a lot um the sweat has some bacteria in it and it will cause you to smell First of all, we just want to disclaim that we are not we are not doctors, right? We are just giving personal recommendations yeah. that uh, has helped. So, um, well, we know a few things that helps um, with situations like this. So, we talked about smell. Like a lot of us, we are living a very active uh, life. Mm -hmm. Right. Some of us, we go to work that are very uh, um, physical intensive. Maybe you are the type of person that you have to walk around. You do 10,000 10, steps a day. You're sweating. Construction. So, you're construction. In construction. Uh, maybe you're a nurse. Um, yeah. Maybe you are a um, salesperson. You go out under the sun. It's, it's hot. Right. And you're sweating. So sweat is one of the big reasons why people smell, right? Sometimes hormone changes, right? Can play a very big role in uh, how you smell. Um, especially some people experience um, hormonal changes and it can create some imbalance in their system and they can start smelling. Mm -hmm. um and this i think this applies to almost everybody right yes there is a particular time in your life where things happen and you, and then yeah. health happens and then you start smelling in a certain way right it yeah. has happened to me it has happened to people i know right yeah so when you observe that phase you need to actually deal with it before it gets out of hand um sometimes it could be your diet like the type of food you're eating um some people like to eat garlic onions um they're good for the health but it's good for the health it's good for the health but there's a way you have to eat it right and yeah. there's a way you have to neutralize it um so the main ones are just the garlic the onions the turmeric right uh even meat there's some type of meat there are some type of vegetables uh, that smell really really bad right um also people that like to drink coke a lot sugary drinks it also <laughs> make you smell bad um if you don't know so um avoid this type of food right uh also Apparently, stress, if you're feeling so stressed out, you could start smelling um, because you will sweat, right? And um, sometimes also, it has been reported that medications, if you are take, dealing with some type of health issue and you're taking some type of medication, it can also be a cause to your... Um, overall body smell and then um poor hygiene obviously you're not showering the right way um and um it can be a reason why you're smelling bad right and uh, some people just shower like really really fast they don't use soap properly they don't use scrubs and all of that they use wrong products um they use a product that actually will make you uh, smell bad mm -hmm. and sometimes it could be your clothing right you some people they will wear on their way today they wear it like three times uh it's, it's bad for you in fact if you're the type that smells a lot especially women right 
in some cases you need to like change your underwear like three times a day <laughs> if it's that bad right you need to have like three underwear in your bag or something and then you change it because at that phase maybe you're going through hormonal changes and it's so serious the best way for you to do is to to really <laughs> have um underwear like handy so you can change it real quick and then weather weather can also be a big factor like people that are living in cold countries they don't really have uh the problem of sweating because you don't sweat instead you're cold all day <laughs> right you, you can see it some, doesn't matter. some it doesn't matter yeah. if you put on your jacket and you have so many layers and you're walking so fast you might begin mm. to really smell and your jacket can start to smell really bad yeah so yeah it doesn't matter right but in some cases some people don't really wear heavy heavy okay uh, yeah clothing some people they are used to the cold so they don't mm -hmm. they just go like in the colds right yeah okay so, yeah. yeah like that those are the most common causes of uh, smell then i want to say something that is a bit different right like uh i i've seen one experiment that was made um about people's smell sometimes there are very, very common smell that is common in some ethnic groups, right? For example, uh, there are certain people from a particular area that smell a particular way. For example, with African, there is a particular smell that Africans Why? have. Why is that? It is, it is, because of what they, I think it's because of, of, of the spices that they used to cook. For example, yes. if you live in a house and you cook and you bring your food in and maybe you eat in your bedrooms or you have your jacket, your clothing hanging there and then the spices go onto your clothes and you don't, you're not the kind of person that, you know, that airs your house you don't open your windows and allow air to come in some people just leave their windows closed they have the ac on day in day out normally it's advised that you should open your your window once every day even in winter no matter how cold it is you should open your windows so that there can be cross ventilation but when there is no that cross ventilation when you cook like in our houses here in northern america where you live in a house with, with an open concept where the kitchen is connected with the living room and i see that a lot in other countries also people are adopting that same pattern of building uh or maybe you even cook and you don't close the windows the doors of your of your living of your bedroom and you cook and the the the, the odor or the the say or the aroma of the of the food goes into the rooms it goes in onto your clothes and let's say you cook pepper soup or you cook <laughs> i don't know any of those your local food with your spices with the locust beans and all that those things will definitely smell on your clothes it will definitely smell on your clothes when you don't air your house you don't change the air and let the air flow in and flow out when people even come into your house it kind of smell that they get and you carry it along out of your house and that something sometimes it happens in church where people pass through you and you're like you just smell stew you're like what did they <laughs> did they cook no. some stew this morning I, oh. I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying but it's real i've <laughs> i've actually noticed it working in a multicultural environment there, there is a particular smell for <laughs> For Caucasians, and there's a particular smell for and Asians. And why is that? Why would why would there I, be a particular smell for some kind of people? I just that's how I just noticed it. Like they have a particular type of smell. Every nationality, like yeah, but I'm like, telling you, the, I'm telling you the solution. the The reason for it, the reason for it is what we eat. You even are people that eat. eat the same thing, even people that eat the same thing. Like for example. I have worked in a corporate environment where we eat like breakfast, lunch, dinner, right? Same thing. They're serving the same food, but different people smell differently. And they don't have right? extra other things that they eat. 
No, of course they eat extra other things, right? But what, what I'm saying is I've noticed it, and some people also put camphor this... in their food, in their camphor in their clothes. Do you know that? <laughs> some people keep camphor in their in their in their baggages, in their luggages. They keep yeah. those camphors in there. Those are contributing smells. Come, I mean, when a baby is yeah, born, but... they don't, we don't we're not born with any with any any kind of smell. Right, we're born the same way. Mm. We're not born with anything. There's a way cats. There's a way cats smell, and there's a way dogs smell. Yes, but we're not that. We're human beings. Yeah. So you cannot <laughs> attribute smell to racist and no. I I I don't think I'll agree with that. Okay, we're let's I agree, disagree. But, but we're just human but, beings. So but, I believe but, that we're all we we are a product of what we eat. It doesn't need to be of... bad smell. It doesn't need to be a bad smell, but it is distinct. It is distinct. Yeah, but I noticed, you know, you unique. know, you, we know, we know a lot of things. We know a lot of things that happens at the background. So when you see some cultures, they wash their clothes in the washing machine and they put some things in the washing machine when they're washing it. Even at that, even at that, I'm telling you, okay. even at I that. don't agree with that, but that's your own. That's what you say. <laughs> Well, but I don't agree with Even that. Like that. I know. Then there is another thing called pheromones, right? Pheromones is 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 a tricky one because pheromones can be a reason why somebody just like another person. <laughs> Scientists have have done some experiments where you attract a male or a female based on their pheromones. Okay. So you can just that's, you can that's just not part of smelling now. <laughs> Yeah, it smell. It smell. Right it's, <laughs> no, no, it smell. It smell. It's pheromones. Pheromones is like the smell. The smell that this person emanates. If ten people sweat and they hang their clothes, right? Some people will be attracted to it, particular uh, sweat smell. While some others will be attracted to a particular sweat smell. Have you not seen a scenario where couples would be like, mm, you smell so good, even when you're sweating? Like, this sweat is like bad smell to other it's, people. It's, but no, 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 <laughs> but no. this person. It's a mixture this, of your perfume and your body, like your body, whatever. I'm telling you, not even <laughs> perfume, not even perfume. I've seen it in football matches where <laughs> these couples, the this one likes this one's bad smell oh bad smell so it, it happens in football matches i just wanted to put that out there okay. right well, so so if if you see somebody just liking you just because of your smell it could be just okay. your your, your that's, pheromones that's are matching very, very funny very your very very funny your, your your pheromones are matching you can go and pick it up you oh can my go and look it up Okay, I'm gonna research that. For now, <laughs> we're going to leave it at that until we research it and confirm that. Everybody can do their own research on this. He said fair months, okay? You guys should go and check that out. <laughs> have a good laugh. So do you have more any more things? Yes, so um uh, different types of smell. Um obviously we said the sweat smell, the garlic and onion smell. Mm -hmm. Some people smell like fish. Um then there is the alcohol smell, and then there is the yeah. the people that smoke smell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then there is the coffee smell. Yes, I've noticed that there are some people that they, they take a lot of coffee. They smell a certain way. Okay, I know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> then there is the, <laughs> so you see. So I'm telling you. It's the people what they eat or what they okay. smoke or what they take into their body. Okay, it's and then the point. Like we're, we're, we're talking about the same thing. It's whatever you put into your body that your body will take out. Sure. And yeah. then there is a musty smell, and then there is a chemical smell. That's the type of smell I've seen uh, documented out there. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, um, again, the, the main thing is a lot of these things can be controlled by what you put into your body, right? Um, so, now let's talk about how you can tame a bad smell. Let's talk about that. Well, I said number one, having your bath often, having a good bath and using a good shower gel or a good, I don't know, soap 
and make sure that you wash the right places, wash them really nice, your underarms, everywhere that is closed, you know, all these places, everywhere that you close most times, your armpits, your, your legs, your private parts, you need to wash it really nice. Uh, some people forget that they need to wash, you know, wash even, you know, where they, where they go to toilet from, like they are, they are everywhere, everywhere that's closed in your body, make sure that you're washing it correctly. That's the only way that you're going to avoid uh, smell apart from perfumes. That's the natural way of helping it. So the perfume can now do the rest, but you have to make sure that you're washing all those parts really, really well. Your back, your neck, your hair. Very important. Many ladies, they forget that washing your hair is a very important aspect of helping you to smell good. Some people, they don't know that because they've not washed that hair that they've kept, they've carried for, I don't know how long, and they're wondering why they're smelling. It's your hair. The hair smells bad. The body will smell. When you pass, the odor of the hair will travel along. So washing your hair is very important. I tell people that I advise people to wash their hair, especially when you have long hair. For example, me, I have a lot of hair. And it's, it's a big hassle to struggle and fight with your natural fussy hair. The fussy hair, especially when you're growing it and you want it to grow longer, you start to... You, you feel like if I wash it always, then I'll lose my hair. But no, if you have the right tools and the right um, material to use to wash your hair, like the right shampoo, the right conditioner, the right detangler and all that, it will not be difficult to wash your hair. You wash your hair nice at least every two weeks. If you can do every week, good. But for us that are having longer hair, we struggle with every week. So every two weeks, you wash your hair. Even if you have to wash your hair every month, make sure that you are airing your hair. Some people, they keep their hair in hair wraps day in, day out, day in, day out. The hair sweats, the, the, the scalp sweats, because don't forget that your scalp is skin, right? There are pores there and it sweats and you have done exercise. You have run to catch the bus. You have, you know, maybe jogged a little, walked so fast, briskly, and then you start to sweat in your hair. And if you do not let your hair air out and wash it often, you definitely will smell. No, and then what you use on your hair is very important. Some people use you no know, oils and all those things, and you know, for hair growth and all that. But if you can good use hair and mix them with some other things that smell good, it could also help in um managing smell that comes out of the hair. Um I think those are mainly what I want to talk about in regards to having a bath and cleanliness, oh, shower. So also also, uh, apparently, they say um, if you use a uh, shower with lukewarm water, it will um, help protect your skin. Um, yeah. Because if your skin you're using like maybe too or very hot water, it's yeah, it's kind not of good. Dries your skin. Burns, it burns your skin and it dries your skin and mm -hmm. all of that. Yes. And also, try to use mild fragrance soap or body wash um, so that um, it will not kill off your natural uh, body bacteria, right? Um, also, when you shower, please make sure you dry off because if you don't dry off, especially if you're in a hot or misty country if you're the type of person that is prone to fungal in infection you might get infected because um especially my myself like for example i had i used to have like this toe where uh, if i don't dry out my legs oh my god <laughs> it will start swelling so make sure make sure you dry out your toes your armpits anywhere that is you know in um tight space dry it out because <laughs> fungal infection is real yeah and it's it socks not, too it's, it's, socks it's yeah yeah your socks make what sure you change your socks all the time now now if you're the type of person that sweat a lot there are some people that sweat a lot in on their feet i think i'm one of those hmm. um a recommendation that has helped me is using um there's this antifungal powder you have to put in your shoe to make sure that uh, it doesn't get wet. And also, when you go, if you are, if you have the chance to take off your shoe and keep it 
uh, outside of your shoe so it can be dry. Out of your, your because... house? Okay. No, no, even in the office, I do that in the office. Like okay. as soon as I get to the office, I take off my shoes because oh. my my feet sweats too fast. Wow, what if my your shoe smells? Uh, then that means you, you definitely have body odor, you know? <laughs> So <laughs> you have to, if you use that um, powder, your feet will not smell. What about um, baking soda? Is... Can't you put baking soda in your? Because you know that this yeah. baking powder, or baking no, not baking powder, baking soda. Baking you know, soda, is baking good. soda. You can because it kind of controls odors too. You can also put baking soda to like use baking soda to clean your shoes. Uh, yeah, you for me, uh, I just went with the pharmacy choice. <laughs> baking soda is a good one, but like it's cheap. if you don't, yeah, it's cheap. And but I, I didn't use baking soda, so baking soda is a good one. You should try that. Yeah, and um, try to avoid all these tight fitted. Clothes. I know some of you want to lose weight, right? You put all this, especially the women, you put some tight stuff. You want to look figure eight and all that. Um, <laughs> you wash them sure, often. <clears throat> make sure you, you wash it all the time. And um, um, sometimes I avoid doing that. For men, please go and buy yourself some loose boxers because a lot of men just wear like pants that is tight uh, another bad side to wearing those bad those tight stuff is like is apparently you might be in danger of um prostate cancer prostate cancer hmm. so be like the the middle eastern people just let it free you know <laughs> Yeah. very awesome. free as much as possible if you go home and you need to sleep please if you are if you have your room to yourself just you know let it free let it free you know what i mean like let it free <laughs> yeah. so be naked if possible there's some studies have shown that it's better you just sleep naked like, don't don't, don't okay. wear anything let everything be um breathing you know let your let your second man be breathing, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so <laughs> that is that. And then, um, please and um, please, men, make sure, a lot of men don't like to shave. So make sure you, <laughs> you shave your under armpits as much as possible. Uh, shave down there, you know, you know what I mean? Some of you guys don't like to shave down there. Yeah. So please get yourself don't use shaving stick oh please don't use shaving stick if you use shaving sticks you have this bump on your armpits and you have bumps down there no don't do that don't do that i've learned my lesson <laughs> so go and get yourself go and get yourself a clip. oh sh clipper a, a clipper, a clipper. Okay. or or you can do wax wax is painful i don't do wax <laughs> but women do wax. you can get a shaving cream too uh, shaving cream, I don't, I don't, I don't have that shaving cream because okay. it's, it's prone to cancer and all that. Really? So, yes. So use a um, clipper. It's the safest choice. Hmm. Or do wax. Put it there. <laughs> ah, painful. <laughs> yeah. But some other people, this is what they do. There is this uh, small clip like that. You just pluck it out. I know, I know. Well, how, a, how many can you pluck out? There are so many. I know a lady that does that. She takes her time. She does it. And it lasts for three months, four months. Wow, but that's <laughs> painful. Yeah, you get used to the pain. You just go like that. You know? And it keeps it clean. No bumps, no nothing. It's clean. Right? Mm -hmm. So try that. That will help you a lot. Okay. You know? And then... When you take shower, um, as much as possible, you can use deodorant. Use deodorant. There are, there's different types of deodorant. There's deodorant for men and there's deodorant for women. for women. Men, because men have a different type of smell. Women have a different type of smell. So the deodorants that are for men are specifically designed for the male smell. And the deodorant for women is designed for the female smell. So please use the appropriate deodorant. I've seen some men that like to use female deodorant. <laughs> but yeah, 
maybe there are the types that don't sweat a lot, so maybe it can work for them. But generally, men, please use deodorant for women. And there are some women that their yeah, smell is a bit Probably. deep. It's better you use the deodorant for men if you are in that category. <laughs> you know, but it would smell so, like a man. No, you wouldn't smell like a man. You just smell normal. You wouldn't smell like a man. Deodorant is under your armpit. You wouldn't smell like a man. <laughs> so uh, then for my people that are active, my Sports. fitness gang, you know what I mean? Before you go to the gym, please, please, and please don't be that guy that is next to me that smell. Take a shower. When you wake up in the morning, take a shower, please. Okay? Take a shower and go to the gym and make sure you put your your under armpit uh deodorant and as soon as you finish from the gym if you cannot wash your clothes immediately hang it out under the sun let sun heat it and the wind so that that smell doesn't stick to your clothes because if that smell sticks to your clothes the only way to get rid of it is to get rid of that clothes. Right? No, I think it's better to just wash it. There's no need to hang it. Come back yeah. home, have a bath, <laughs> wash your clothes. Wash your, wash, your, wash your gym wear, please. Wash it immediately. All right? And take a shower immediately, please. Don't go and dry yourself under the fan or under the AC. Don't do that, please. Don't be that guy. The smell will still be there. When you put when you again, it will accumulate it. And then it's yeah, just and then you get clothes. pimples, you get pimples, you get rashes. I keep wondering whether it's your village people that are doing you. It's not your village people, it's you doing yourself. Okay. <laughs> and then another thing that works very well, please drink a lot of water. Hydration. Drink a lot of water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that you can pee a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you drink a lot of water, it will wash out all the toxins in your body, in your streams, and all of that. Then, am I talking too much? No, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, another thing you can do is your diet. Yeah. Now we come to diet. Now, if you are eating a lot of oily food, please slow down on your oily food. You that like... Um, your food to float with a lot of uh, vegetable oil. Please slow down on that, right? Um, You can cook nice tasty food without um, a lot of oil, right? Try to eat vegetables a lot. And please don't burn your vegetable on the fire. Don't burn it, right? Just make sure it's a bit cooked. Make sure it's fresh, all right? Because if you're burning it, you're burning all the enzymes in the food and you're losing the nutrients. You're basically eating rubbish, right? You're eating junk. You're as good as those people that are eating burger, right? Not to say that you shouldn't eat burger, but try as much as possible to reduce that, right? Mm -hmm. And then coming to the fruit aspect, um, if you are currently experiencing body odor, I would say you should switch to drinking a lot of fruits, especially orange juice. Mm. Orange juice. Okay. I'll hear you. Okay. So you're talking about orange juice. I don't seem to hear you anymore. Okay, well, I'm going to continue from... There. Can you hear? Can you speak? See if we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. So I was saying orange fruits, uh, lemon is great. Um, citrus. So everything citrus, citrus. Citrus. Orange grapes. 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 Limes. Um, they are very good. What? Watermelon. Watermelon. My secret. My secret that has always worked really, 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 really well. Get yourself Greek yogurt. Get yourself strawberry. Greek yogurt and strawberry. Yes, Greek yogurt. Oh, Greek okay. yogurt, strawberry. And if you want to add something a bit more, 
you just put um probably a bit of maybe antioxidant type of fruit which is like grape fruit grapefruit okay. right or blackberry blueberry okay. put it in there blend it and drink it do that so for like you have two weeks greek yogurt strawberry blueberry uh grapes and what else that's it that's it and then you yep. blend it together strawberry grapes and greek yogurt blend it together and drink it and drink it in the morning uh drink it and then in the night if you can eat cucumber and strawberry mm, you start smelling good when you sweat like this people people be like oh smell good <laughs> you know so do that and for all my people that drink uh hot drinks um you should start drinking cinnamon cloves cardamom That's your tea right cinnamon yeah your tea gloves tea. gloves is very good it smells really good cloves especially for women cloves yeah mm. cloves is really good it mm. smells it does, really good it, i advise people to it does, use it a lot it does wonders cloves yeah. and um yeah try to do lean protein like yeah. fish goat um, meats goat meat chicken yeah. chicken and then in morning for people that do breakfast yeah you can do oatmeal oatmeal will help oatmeal with berries and cinnamon uh granola eggs uh whole wheat toast avocado oh my god avocado is, is so good for breakfast right um then for lunch you can do make sure you're eating salads you that don't like to eat salad you're always eating um for my african people you're, you're doing fufu you're doing yeah well if you do fufu you can do it with a lot of veggie if you if you yeah. take a lot of veggie spinach um uh cauliflower uh pumpkin leaves any of those yep. leaves, veggies if you have veggies even if you're going to eat african food make sure that you're having a lot of veggies in your food so make sure it's not the food is not burnt out <laughs> yeah just so veggie fresh. not overcooked make sure that you're yep. not overcooking your veggie and it's still looking green in your pot of soup that's the idea actually okay yes that's it pretty much i mean if you try that hopefully yeah. you're going to see some results yeah i also want to add that if you use washing machine to wash your clothing i can advise you to throw in some textile uh, scents it's like a, a perfume that you can just i mean it's like little balls um, and they, they 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 make your clothes your laundry smell good you can put in your fabric they call it fabric, fabric softener, softener. No, fabric softener, and then you have another one. It's practically, it's not just the softener, because some softeners not always have, there's some, you just throw them in. They're like little, little balls. They, they look like tiny, tiny little um, ringlets. It, they come in different forms, though. And some people have them like very round and tiny little tablets. So you just throw them into your clothes. Just go to the store and look for fabric um, scents. You know, I'll get the right word. Maybe I'll put it in the description um, section. And so when you throw it into your, your washing machine, during the wash, not during the drying, just throw it in there and then wash your clothes with it. You'll see that your, your clothes will really smell really, really, really good. Um, yeah, so that, 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 that's it. And I think another thing I will add, ask is if you work, I will, add, I will add is that if you work during the day and you're so busy, you sweat a lot, you can carry small towels or wet wipes around. You can have like wipes, you know, baby wipes. Have them in your in your little bag, and then you can easily just wipe down, you know, wipe down your armpit, and maybe refresh, put a little uh, deodorant in. So you, if you know that you sweat a lot and you're you're struggling with this, you're trying to deal with it, you can carry some small travel size deodorant in your bag um, for a quick refresh, you know, during the day, especially when you're very busy and you're very active and you're up and going, always going in those, you know 
in the sun and not in in a in an air conditioned room you're just very you're out you're out there your business takes you out there you want some time to refresh from time to time so and then your beddings too where you sleep is very important to wash your beddings at least once every week wash your your bed sheet your bed cover your pillowcases oh, well. your towels yes you have to wash your towels at least if you can once a week, you should be washing your your towels. Very very important. I think that uh, we have practically covered everything. We've talked about diet, and then for, about for, showers. Go ahead. And then for for your mouth, make sure you brush in the morning and in the night. Twice a day if at want, least. If you want, to, if if you want to be extra, <laughs> after every meal, <clears throat> after every meal, you just. Yeah. Uh, brush your teeth. Don't be yeah. doing chingomo. Ah, if you do chingomo all the time, your teeth will be gone. You, you, you will lose your teeth. So. Uh, I am. I, I can exp- I can tell you about that. I did a lot of chingomo, and I have a lot of holes in my my teeth, and then I had to get some fillings. And trust me, fillings are not fun. I hate it every time, but you know, every time they have to check the fillings and make sure that it's not getting a hole and it's not a good experience. I hate them grilling through my teeth and and then trying to fill it up. And sometimes the feeling is not, you don't want to do it. <laughs> so pre- 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 preserve your teeth so that you don't get to that point where you have to always visit the dentist or when you are eating, drinking cold water or hot things, you feel that pain right there because there's a hole in your teeth. You don't want that. So, not only brushing your teeth, you need to floss. Floss. Exactly. You know floss. To floss. So you use the floss. And then you floss through your teeth. You know, the toothbrush cannot get in between the teeth, right? But if you use the floss, you'll be able to floss your teeth daily. And some people talk about mouthwash too. Something like this. Yeah. All right. Can you see it? Oh, you have a floss? Okay. Yeah. Can you can you show it? Uh, can you take one out? Let them see. Yeah, I will. Just give me a second. Oh, I'm just going to show you how uh, how the floss looks like, and so you, some people cut it. Some people it also comes and I have one here. Oh yeah, that's it. You see, I also have mine. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, so you have the ones that come like this, and some of them also come like in in ropes. You just cut the rope and then you floss like that. But this one is really easy. I kind of like it because you can just do this like that. You know? Yeah. Uh, you do that and then you are cleaning in between your teeth like that. So that's just a demonstration of what you do. So when you brush then, your teeth, you floss, then you can use the tip to take out anything, you know, rather than using your hand, you know, you can use the tip and then you take out everything. And it's so good because the back of your teeth, you don't really get there. But this one can go there. And just put it in like that, and it's it's very good. Trust me, you see that your the whole mouth game will change completely. I don't know if somebody has been blessed by this. Please let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Tell us that. Tell us what you you think about this. Are you did you get something from this? Is this something that was very important to you? Is this something that you did you learn something new? Hey, it's it's very important because trust me, <laughs> there are some there are some companies that it is a requirement. If you don't smell good, like for example, people that work in um in um as air hostess, if you don't yeah. smell good, they won't employ you. Even customer service. If, if you, you don't look good, customer service person. If you don't look good, they will employ you. Uh, yeah. salespeople as well. In some companies, if you don't smell good, you don't look good. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so much service, uh, reception, all those places. There are people, people service kind of jobs. You need to smell yeah. good. You need to smell well so that people are not. And if you come really close to people to help them, like you know, even if you work in the airport, you know, when you assist people who their luggages and everything, you come very close to them and you have to help them to look at things to show them stuff. You don't want to be smelling bad. This is and very for important. People, and for people wondering where you can get this. You can get it from um, Miniso. Miniso is almost everywhere. <laughs> so if you go to Miniso, you can get this. Um, yeah. Also, you can get it from the uh, kitchen store, maybe. They have those things there. Yeah, even the pharmacy. You can even go to the pharmacy. Pharmacy as well. 
Pharma pharmacy, you can ask them or over the counter in the stores, in all the open stores, Walmart, Superstore, anyway. I mean, we know about this. Your dentist, our dent some people also have this floss that comes in the bathroom and you floss right as you're eating, just like what the dentist used to floss your teeth. You know, you know there's an ad on TV about that as well. So there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, then some people, people don't know about some people don't know about brushing their tongue. They just brush yeah. their teeth. They never yes. brush their tongue. Yes, you that's very important. Tongue, brush the top. Brush nice and then rinse. When you finish brushing your teeth, make sure that you're rinsing and you're pouring out the water. As basic as these things mm. are, some people don't don't take it seriously. So yes, yes, uh, that's why we are talking about it. I know we will be like, oh, come. <laughs> This this things you should know these things. So yeah, uh, yeah. And everybody if I, knows this thing. And if we tie it down to relationship, uh, you don't want to put off the person that is coming to, to like your fiance for the first time. I mean, somebody's meeting you for the first time and they they smell something. You can put them off, and you know people can struggle. Like ah, that lady, she, why can I marry this one now? Even if he's felt felt led. <laughs> That yeah, the person that he needs to marry is like, oh my god, this person, this lady, uh, this man that smells so bad like this, I can't stand him and everything. You know, you don't want to delay um, to have anything that I, would I delay take smells so serious. Your marriage from from coming to reality or to fruition, or you know, for making it to happen fast. When you carry body odor all over the place, it could also be a factor why people are running away from you. You don't want that to happen, so that uh, you know, some of us who are still looking and waiting and you know, want to get married soon. You want to get married soon. So because, you know, when you take good care of yourself, when you come, people will know, oh, I think I can smell mm, Sister May. Smells good. I can smell you hug, you hug them Mata. All the time. I can smell Sister Joy. And, you know, when you come into a space, it's not, and we're not saying you should do it so much that it's so much that, oh my God, people start sneezing. No, not that. Yeah. Mild. That when you even come to a space, just... Clean, that, clean smell. There's just that nice, soft smell that comes with you as a lady and as a man. There's just that nice, masculine, nice, appealing clean, clean. smell that fresh. comes with you. Fresh, yeah, just fresh. So I, I yeah. think that if you do all these things, you, you'd you'd be happy. Uh, you, you'd you also tell us, you'll be able to share with us that things have changed. People have started to look at you different. Yeah, people relate with you differently. People relate to and, you with you better when you smell good, you know. They don't mind being around you. And it tells a lot about your personal hygiene. It's very, very important. Yeah. Yeah. So, so for me, like, um, I don't know. I don't know if people know about these things, things like this. But I mean, I like to keep this type of stuff around. In the room? Uh, in the room. Okay. Smell good. Okay. That's you just know. room. Uh, that or doesn't go use... around with you. <laughs> no, I, I have it for different locations where I'm usually seated. Okay. <laughs> so, so I could I have it in my office, I have it at home, I have it in the car, whatever. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we've talked about this topic and I think that we've done justice to it. Uh somebody yeah. could let us know if you like this topic and give us a so like. We have a song. Love. We have Isong from Delta that mm -hmm. joined us. Thank you, you for connecting. Tijani, Tijani from Oyo State. Thank you for Thanks connecting. For joining. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I can see here. Mm -hmm. And we had Eunice, Rums, and Flomo Edward. Yeah. So we just thought that we'll talk about this today because um, a lot of people in church. They, they 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 keep making people uncomfortable. So we say it's something that we need to address because last uh, last time somebody was talking about it and she was very 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 irritated that some somebody was was oozing out something that is unpleasant in church. Instead of you to concentrate on the Lord, you're concentrating on <laughs> it's, so, so, it's quite annoying sometimes, you know. For me, I'll just give the excuse of I'm going to the washroom and go and, 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 change <laughs> and your switch seat. my seat, <laughs> switch my seat as soon as possible. You know what I mean? So if this helped you, please share it with somebody. And um, for those of you that are still waiting for uh, this series on um, 
making money don't worry i got you i'm just working on the details right so when we start we start we, we go in full throttle okay so um i'll be announcing that very soon stay tuned for that and we are going to be doing it on fridays not saturdays so okay. take notes okay okay you know for what i'll do i mean i think we, we, we are done with this yes session right thank you so much for coming and have a nice a nice day a lovely weekend and see you next week see you next right. week same same page same channel same uh group and don't forget to like subscribe to our youtube channel okay i uh, see all of you guys who have been subscribing god bless you and see you next time god bless you bye